Hello. Just came inside. It's uh, raining out. And uh, a lot of things are flooded. But it's 11 p.m. or so. And I'm finally inside and dry. And uh, kind of just uh, listening to the rain. Uh, just here in the skylight. And just here in that skylight. And here in the mudroom. And uh, let's see if I can set the camera up a little bit. This will hold her up here. Bouncing around a little figurine from Sarah. Yeah, that kind of works. I think it's a little too dark, but there's a matched figurine from Sarah. Uh, the uh, phone is leaning on the other. Exceedingly uh, familiar with water. Uh, in, the, in the last uh, week or so, just uh, getting frozen by it and standing in it and watching it rise and all the rest. Probably mentioned that in one of the last few, or maybe all of the last few meditations. But anyway, inside, it's raining. And I'm just kind of shifting into the uh, you know, I'm done for the night. That's all I can do. So, rather than continue on with that, I'm sort of fighting the rain and the effects of the rain and working towards management of it, I just want to shift into the enjoying the sound. So, rather than the, uh, the how I'd want things and then how I'd control for what I want and control against what I don't want and how I'll have anxiety about that or fear around that, that whole sort of process. And just maybe somebody right down the road lives uh, on a house on the hill and they're just enjoying the rain and that's all they ever think about the rain is just enjoying it. So I just want to kind of shift that mode. So away from that amygdala mode, away from that kidney fear mode and See if I can't shift into just just hearing the rain. Just interested in it, interested in what I don't know, what I'm not feeling. And this rain is not the same rain that I know. This is new rain. It's not the water that I'm standing in. So I want to see if I can't shift myself. Sort of exhausted kidney and adrenal situation uh, to the other. I think what I'm going to do is a backlight cast light for you. Might have done this on one of the early ones. And uh, I'm just going to uh, squat here. You can probably see my head anyway. So I'll try and head there. And I'm just hearing the rain. I'm trusting that you can on the, this as well, at least a little. I'm trying to hear the rain tune into no considerations about it, which these days, these hours are sort of anxious and planning and concern and control and challenged. I just want to listen to the rain like a poet, listen to the rain like a child. In listening to the rain, I was able to hear the cat who decided he wanted to go out and Yeah, 
That was a bit better. <laughs> he decided to go out in the rain maybe an hour and a half ago. <laughs> and uh, since I was on the phone and it's late at night, it's raining, I figured he's in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> And I noticed that he was coming in with a mouse. <laughs> and just as he started to make his way inside, I put my palm on his face and gave him a little backward push. Uh, and the mouse uh, took off and hopped down the stairs out into the rain. And the cat was wondering which way the mouse had gone. But that's notable because uh, I almost always look at his mouth to see if he's uh, trying to bring something in and generally avoid it. <laughs> and in this case, because it was so uh, rainy out and, uh, you know, I'm actually doing a video, I thought I would... Uh... You looking for your mouse? You want to come in even though you lost it? Yeah, he's not coming. He's looking for the mouse. Come on. Come on. Come on, I'm gonna have to help you come in. There he goes, come on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, that was uh, quite a bit on the unusual side. Hey buddy, yeah I know. So anyway, I had been listening to the rain and I was able to hear the cat <laughs> I'm now a little bit over here now under the calcite but <sighs> at any rate uh, there's not a mouse in the house <laughs> so I guess that's a plus anyway back to the listening so rarely brings anything in. I mean, it's probably been a few years since he's tried to bring something in. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Yeah, you're pretty soaking wet. Yeah, well, you're the one that decided to go out there in the rain. And I guess you decided to catch a mouse, too. This up a little bit closer. And uh, I can see the cat is trying to figure out where the mouse went. <laughs> yeah, he's got to find out. Alright, so. Got it. More things to take care of. Thank you.